Finding good video ideas for YouTube is one of the most challenging things that most YouTube creators face, and I've dealt with this myself for five years. But I do use two different tools, one I've used for the last five years to come up with thousands of video ideas, and the second one is brand new from YouTube that I wanted to show you in this video that is gonna show you exactly what type of videos you make with the exact same title based on your channel activity. So I'm gonna show you both of those in this video, so hopefully you don't have challenges moving forward with coming up with new good video ideas. So let me show you the first one here, which you could get completely for free. It's a Chrome extension called TubeBuddy, and you may have heard of this one before. But it has this section called Keyword Explorer. I'll put a link to TubeBuddy so you can install this extension. I do have a paid upgrade that gives me a little bit more options with some of this keyword research, but you could get started for free. And let's say I'm making a video about growing on YouTube. So I could search growing on YouTube, and that's all I know but I don't know what videos to make around that. So what this does is going to show me all kinds of video ideas, growing on YouTube gaming, growing on YouTube shorts. And if I click on video topics, look at this, look how many video ideas I just got right there. So I got well over 10 video ideas and I could turn these into my title and then write a little bit of script for each one. And if I wanna dive deeper, I could click here, how to grow on YouTube fast, I could click there, and then it's gonna give me a bunch of other ideas, right? Just like that. So in a course of a few minutes here, just by having that one first search term that I explore, I could come up with all these video topics and all these search-based results on YouTube. Now, another option I find really useful is this section right here for trending topics. So if you look here, it's gonna show you what things are trending, and then you could click on each one and dive a little bit deeper, and you could change this based on your country as well. This is very useful, because if you time this right, you could exponentially grow with your YouTube channel using trending topics, and then using search to build up on that as well. Now, the second one is brand new from YouTube. It's inside of YouTube Studio. So as long as you have a YouTube channel and you've uploaded some videos, it should have some results to look at. So let me show you how this works. All you have to do is go to your YouTube Studio. So click your profile after you log in and go to YouTube Studio right here. And what you wanna do is click Analytics here and then go to this tab called Research. This Research tab is brand new. And what you could do here is you, again, you could use it like TubeBuddy so you could see what people are searching for on YouTube. Again, so how to grow on YouTube. I could search for that. And then it's gonna give me some results based on that. And it's gonna show me the search volume based on that. TubeBuddy does give you a little bit more detail when it comes to this type of general search. But the way I use this option is right here, your viewer searches. I could see some of my popular videos are how to create a YouTube channel so people find my channel using that search, but I could see how to delete a Facebook account. Have I made that video? It looks like it has a content gap. This means, this is basically what I'm looking for here. It says when there's a content gap, it means when someone is searching YouTube for the specific answer, they're not exactly getting what they're looking for. Maybe the content is not good or maybe it's outdated. So this says people are finding my channel based on these search terms, but when there is a content gap, that gives me the perfect opportunity to make that video. So right now, for example, I can make a video on how to delete Facebook and how to delete YouTube and how to reset your iPhone. Again, I cover a lot of tech and social media heavily on this channel. So those are the things that it's going to recommend how to use Instagram, how to factor reset iPhone. Right, so I make a lot of YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and iPhone tutorials, a lot of tech, and it's going to give me some of that results. So how to post on Instagram, looks like there's a content gap. I have made this video, but it was three years old, right? So when people are finding it, even though it's showing up number one, maybe they're not getting what they're looking for. And there's typically multiple pages here that you could go through to get exactly what people are searching for based on your specific channel. So that's the key here. This is not just YouTube searches. This is what's happening specific to your channel. And if you're new or if you haven't posted much content, I recommend start with TubeBuddy because you're not gonna get much results here that are gonna be relevant for you. But once you do get there, go ahead and look through this, press the save icon, so then it will show up under saved. So then this makes you a nice library here that you could always come back to and find relevant video ideas for your YouTube channel. And between those two options, I literally have a list of thousands of video ideas for my multiple channels that I always go to, and I update this about once every month. That's all I take to do the research, few hours a month, and my list is always 
updated. So I hope you found this useful. I do also have a free training to show you exactly how I got 100 million views on this YouTube channel. That is linked in the description below this video. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time.